हरिओम माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आर यू ऑल सेफ एट होम आई थिंक सो इन दिस प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल दैट इज वाइल गोइंग आउटसाइड यू हैव टू वेयर मास्क एंड आफ्टर कमिंग बैक टू होम यू हैव टू क्लीन योर हैंड विद सोप और सैनिटाइजर ओके टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ addition and subtraction of integers in the last year you have studied the addi- the properties of addition and subtraction for whole numbers in this year we are going to study the properties of addition and subtraction of integers you know the properties which are the properties can you tell can you remember any one of the properties yes first property is Closure property. First property is closure property. Closure property. Now what is closure property? In the closure property, for all numbers, all numbers in the closure property in that number. Ah, if you take any two whole number and add, the answer will be again a whole number. अट्रा Infinity. Here minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, etc. Up to minus infinity. So there are infinite number of integers. If you take any two integer and add, the answer will be again an integer. अब इंटीजर अल्लाह ने वेरे नंबर्स अंडो. तो तुम इसे चिंदी किन्हों नाओ? Yes, there are numbers. We have already studied that. That is fraction, one by two. It is not an integer. It's a fraction. Again, decimal number, zero point three five two. It is a decimal number. It is not a not an integer. So, if the integers are closed, closed down, then what are we doing? If you take any two integer, either one the integer or the two the other. Addition. If you take any two integer, any two integer minus five 
minus minus three, minus five, and minus three are integers. And subtract. So it is minus five minus minus three. Subtraction means adding the additive. So first number as it is. Then instead of minus, we put plus and take the additive inverse. Additive inverse of minus three is plus three. Now minus five plus three is minus two. Minus two is also an integer. So if we if we take any two integers and subtract, the answer will be again an integer. So we can say that integers are integers are Closed under integers are closed under addition and subtraction. Integers are closed under addition and subtraction. That is, in general, we can tell if a and b are any two integers. If a and b are any two integers, a plus b is an integer. A plus B is an integer. Again, if A and B are any two integers, if A and B are any two integers, A minus B is also an integer. So, did you understand what is closure property? Next is commutative property. Second property is. Commutative property. Commutative property. So if you take any two integer, minus three, I am taking minus three and uh, plus five. Two integers, minus three and plus five, and I am adding minus three plus plus positive five. What is minus three plus positive five? Minus three plus positive five is positive two. Again, I am adding in reverse order. First, I am taking positive five and then minus three. So positive five plus minus three. Now, what is the answer? Positive five plus minus three. So adding. And both the integers are of opposite sign. Then we take the difference of the number and put the sign of the latest number. We take the difference. So five minus three. What is five minus three? Two. And the sign of the greatest number is plus. So the answer is positive two. Here also it is positive two, and here also it is positive two. Here we add minus three plus positive five, and here we add in the reverse order. In both the cases, we get the same answer. So we can write as minus three plus positive five is equal to positive five plus minus three. That is, if you change the order and add, the answer will be the same. That is, in general, we can say that if a and b are any two integers, if a and b are any two integers. If a and b are any two integers, a plus b is equal to b plus a. अर्थात् इधर ये दो रेंट इंटीजर ऐड था, तो हम लोग इन्हें ऐड ही रहेंगे। मतलब इधर आधी माइनस थ्री है, प्लस थ्री ही बुढ़ा दिया। माइनस थ्री डे बुढ़ा प्लस फाइव ऐड ही हुआ। माइनस थ्री डे बुढ़ा प्लस फाइव ऐड ही हुआ। पर पॉजिटिविटी नहीं तो हम लोग � so, in the order we add, we will get the same answer. That is commutative property. That is, a, b, two integers, any two integers. If a and b are any two integers, a plus b is equal to b plus a. So, we can tell that addition is, addition is commutative, commutative for integers. Addition is commutative for integers. So, if we add the order, we will get the answer the same as you. Now, let us check whether subtraction is commutative for integers. For that, I am going to take two integers. First is positive 5 and negative 10. I am taking two integers, positive 5 and minus 10. And I am going to subtract. So, 
positive 5 minus minus 10. How will you subtract this? Subtraction, you know, subtraction means adding the additive inverse. So, first number you write as it is. Then, this minus will change to plus. Then, the additive inverse of minus 10. What is additive inverse of minus 10? It is plus 10. Now, you can add these two integers. So, plus 5 plus plus 10 is plus 15. Again, I am going to subtract this in reverse order. In which is subtraction I am going to so minus 10. The second uh, number is minus 10. Minus. The first number is positive 5. So I am subtracting in the reverse order. This is equal to minus 10. Then minus becomes plus. And addition inverse of plus 5 is minus 5. Now we can add these two. Minus 10 plus minus 5 is minus 15. Look here. Here you got positive 15 and here you got minus 15. The answers are not equal. So we can say that subtraction is not subtraction is not commutative for integers. Neither in subtraction the case is Integers in the order change the subtract the answer. That the answer is the same. So, subtraction is not commutative for integers, whereas addition is commutative for integers. Next is associative property. Third property is associative. Minus 3, minus 2, minus 5 are 3 integers. And I am writing like this. Minus 5 plus minus 3 plus minus 2 and minus 5 plus minus 3 plus minus 2. Here, minus 3 and minus 2 are grouped together and here minus 5 and minus 3 are grouped together. Let us check whether in both cases the answers are equal or not. So, minus 5 plus these two numbers are in bracket. You have to do this first. So, minus 3 plus minus 2 is minus 5 and here Minus 5 plus minus 3. These two numbers are in bracket. So we have to do this first. So minus 5 plus minus 3 is equal to minus 8 plus this minus 2. Here minus 5 plus minus 5 is minus 10. Here minus 8 plus minus 2 is minus 10. In both the cases uh, the answer is minus 10. So we can write minus 5 plus minus 3 plus minus 2 is equal to minus 5 plus minus 3 plus minus 2. Here did you find the difference? In, for, in this case, first we add these two together. Then the numbers within the bracket. In this case, we add these two numbers together. So, in both the cases, we get the same answer. So, we can uh, say that uh, addition is associative for integers. That is, in general, if A, B, C are any three integers, if A, B, C are any three integers, Karan, are you listening here? Look here. If A, B, C are any three integers, A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. That is, A the moon integers are the same. A the order is the same. The answer is the same. 
ഇവിടെ മൂന്ന് ഇന്റിജേഴ്സ് നമ്മൾ എടുത്തു മൈനസ് ത്രീ മൈനസ് ടു മൈനസ് ഫൈവ് അതിനെ ഇങ്ങനെ എഴുതി എന്നിട്ട് എന്ത് ചെയ്തു ഇതിനെ ഈ ബ്രാക്കറ്റിനുള്ള എന്നെ ആദ്യം ആഡ് ചെയ്ത് എഴുതി ഇവിടെയോ മൈനസ് ഫൈവ് മൈനസ് ത്രീയെ ആഡ് ചെയ്ത് എഴുതി ഇവിടെ ഫസ്റ്റിന്റെ കൂടുതി ആഡ് ചെയ്ത ഇന്റിജർ വീണ്ടും ആഡ് ചെയ്തപ്പോൾ മൈനസ് ടെൻ കിട്ടി ഇവിടെ മൈനസ് ഫൈവ് മൈനസ് ത്രീ ആഡ് ചെയ്തപ്പോൾ മൈനസ് എയ്റ്റ് കിട്ടി അതിന്റെ കൂടെ മൈനസ് ടു ആഡ് ചെയ്തു അപ്പൊ മൈനസ് ടെൻ കിട്ടി രണ്ട് കേസിനും സെയിം ആൻസർ ആണ് നമുക്ക് കിട്ടിയത് സോ വി ക്യാൻ സേ ദാറ്റ് അഡീഷൻ ഇസ് അസോസിയേറ്റീവ് ഫോർ ഇന്റിജേഴ്സ് ബട്ട് സബ്രാക്ഷൻ ഇസ് നോട്ട് അസോസിയേറ്റീവ് ഫോർ ഇന്റിജേഴ്സ് ദാറ്റ് യു ക്യാൻ ചെക്ക് യുവർ സെൽഫ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി ഇസ് അഡിറ്റീവ് ഐഡന്റിറ്റി ദ ഫോർ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി ഇസ് അഡിറ്റീവ് അഡിറ്റീവ് ഐഡന്റിറ്റി So you have studied additive identity for whole numbers. That is, when you add any whole number to zero, you will get that whole number as answer. So we can say that zero is the uh, additive identity for whole numbers. In the case of integer, if we add zero to any integer, suppose two is an, two is an integer, so we are going to add uh, two with zero. We get minus 2 that integer that is again minus 2 plus 0 is equal to minus 2 so we can say that 0 is the additive identity for integers so we can say that 0 is the additive identity for integers in general if a is any integer in general if a is any integer a plus 0 is equal to a equal to 0 plus a now let us recall what we studied today the first property is closure property what is closure property if you take any two integers and add the answer will be again an integer so we can say that integers are closed under addition and also in the case of subtraction integers are closed under subtraction now second property is commutative property what is commutative property commutative property is a plus b equal to b plus a that is you can add any two integer in any order that is commutative property so we can say that addition is commutative but subtraction is not commutative the third property is associative property what is associative property a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c that is if you take any three integer and add in any order the answer will be the same so addition is associative but subtraction is not associative now the last property is additive identity that is when you add any integer to zero we get the same integer so zero is the additive identity for integers now i will send notes through whatsapp thank you and have a nice day